Hey guys, Jen here from Millennial Next Door. Thanks so much for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to make money in a pandemic. Okay, so this has been a video that's definitely been a long time coming. We're in a pandemic. Um, as, of, as, as of this video, it is August 26, 2020. So, as you know, the world has been hit with a pandemic and a lot of people have lost their jobs. Many people are struggling. If that's you or you're looking for a way to make extra money, I have got some side hustles that I'm really excited to share with you in this video. Okay, so let's dive in. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the post notification bell so you can be alerted when I publish new videos just like this one. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and like this video. Let's get into it. All right, how to make money in a pandemic. Now, there are a couple key ingredients needed to make this work. Let's go over what those requirements are first. Okay, so we're living in a pandemic. People are staying in. Social distancing is encouraged. Going out and socializing, being around other people, even working in a traditional work environment is discouraged because of how um, the pandemic is today. So this is going to be an online job or side hustle. It's going to require little to no startup capital. And these are going to be a mix of part time and full time options for you. Okay, so number one. I can type here. <laughs> okay, so if you've lost your job or you're looking for a way to increase your income, one of the easiest ways to break into it is through freelancing. Now, with freelancing, you're working using your skills, but you're doing it as, as an independent contractor, not an employee. Okay, so what does that mean? There are a lot of differences between an employee and an independent contractor. Mainly, you're going to be doing your own taxes. Um, you probably won't have benefits like health insurance, vision, dental, 401k. So um, you're a worker, and that's pretty much it. Um, freelancing is really interesting because depending upon the industry that you're in, you can make a lot of money. A freelancer can make more than an employee doing the same job. And with freelancing, you're going to love all the perks of being your own boss, um, more or less. You can pick the clients that you want to work with. You can set your pay rate so your income isn't determined by an employer. You can pick your rate. And the flexibility, working from home, all awesome benefits that you'll get to enjoy. So to figure out what you can do as a freelancer, think about your job. So what did you do in your job? Were you an accountant? Were you a bookkeeper, graphic designer? All those are excellent freelance jobs that you can land. And if you're not in one of those jobs, maybe it's a little tricky to think about what you can do. Just break down your skills. What can you do? Can you type? Can you do research? Do you know multiple languages? List out all your skills, and then that's a great base to figure out what kind of gig you can land as a freelancer. Now, when it's time to work as a freelancer, there are many places you can look online to find freelance gigs, like Upwork, Freelancer, Remote, there's Guru. You can look on social media networks like LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, you can go to job banks like Indeed. You can even go to industry-specific forms and job banks. Like, for example, for writers, you can go to Media Bistro or problogger.com slash jobs and others. This one is really good because... Uh, it's just for your industry, and it's easier to quickly identify the job that you're looking for and kind of get through the process, whereas some of these are more general. 
but um, this is number one, freelancing. Now, freelancing can be done part-time or full-time. You can take on one client or multiple clients, your choice. You can scale this. You can start doing freelancing work yourself, and then you can even create an agency. Like if you're a writer, you start to bring on one or more clients, and then you hire staff who can start doing the work for you while you manage the project. The whole operation, that's something that a lot of freelancers do. Freelancing is great because it is online. Depending upon what you do, some examples of online freelance jobs are some that I mentioned. Mountain bookkeeper, graphic designer, writer, translation, transcription, proofreading, editing, video editing. The list goes on and on and on. For a really good um, list of different kinds, excuse me, freelance jobs you can do, go to Upwork. Okay, this is my Upwork profile. So once you set up your own freelancer profile, it'll look something like this. These are some of the categories that I have chosen here. So these can get, this can give you an idea of what kind of freelance jobs or positions you can go for. And you can expand the categories they have to really drill deep and see the different things out there that you can do. Now, when it's time to find a job or start your freelance business, you can do it for free. If you go to a traditional job site like Indeed or problogger.com slash jobs for writers, for example, you don't have to pay anything to apply for jobs. Some of the freelance marketplaces like Upwork, well, they may not charge you upfront or monthly to use their platform. They do have a system in place where you do have to pay a little bit of money to apply for jobs. So I haven't used Upwork in a while. When I first joined years ago, it wasn't like this. So basically what you do is when you find a job, you decide you want to submit a proposal. When you submit a proposal, you'll get a chance to write a cover letter to the employer talking about how great you are and why you think you're an awesome fit for the job. You may also add, answer some questions that the employer posted, and that's it. You can also attach your resume and portfolio and things like that if you want to. Now, to submit a proposal, you have to have a certain number of connects. Now, a connect, you can think of as like um, coins. So you'll have 50 coins, for example, and to apply it to this job, it requires four. So once you submit the proposal, four is deducted from your balance. And the remaining amount, if you start with 50 and it takes 4 to apply, so the rest is 46, then you have 46 connects remaining for other jobs. When you run out of connects, you buy more. Now, it's pretty cheap. Um, I think you can pay like 12 bucks and get a dozen or more than a dozen. I, ha I haven't done it in a long time. But it's pretty affordable, but I just want to set your expectations up front that some of the marketplaces like this one, some of the platforms, they may require you to pay. Some of them may even require a monthly fee, so just be aware of that. Um, the ones that I can think of off the top of my head that require a monthly fee is... Uh, it's called Flex Jobs. Um, yeah, so Flex Jobs requires a monthly fee. Is it worth it? Perhaps. I mean, you can land an awesome job that you wouldn't have found otherwise. And there's no contract, so you can try it for a month or two and cancel later if you don't have a need for that site. Anyway, that's a lot of talk about freelancing. So that's the first one. Okay, number two... Dropshipping. So dropshipping is an e-commerce model. 
where you act as the middle man. So in a traditional retail model, a consumer will go to a website like Nordstrom and they'll browse and they'll decide they want to buy something. So they'll add a women's uh, pair of jeans to their shopping cart and check out. So they just bought something from Nordstrom. When Nordstrom gets the order, they go to their warehouse and they'll pick, pack, and ship the order. So the order will come from the Nordstrom warehouse going to your address, the customer. And that's how most retailers work. Now, with drop shipping, it's a bit different. You, as the e-commerce store, so say you're Nordstrom, when a customer buys from you, instead of you shipping from your warehouse, you're going to be ordering from your supplier, and your supplier is going to ship to the customer, not you, the supplier. The benefit of that is you're not required to hold inventory, and not holding inventory is a pretty big deal because inventory costs a lot of money. So when you start an e-commerce store or a retail store, you need a lot of capital. You need to buy your garments, your shipping supplies, you need to buy warehouse space and pay utilities for lighting to keep the lights on in your warehouse and machines and staff. Lots and lots of cost and drop shipping eliminates that. It puts that burden onto the supplier. So this is great because you can start your own online store and your costs are going to be very minimal. You're going to have your hosting fees for your store website and marketing if you decide to invest in marketing costs. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can start your own online store for under a hundred dollars. And I know because I've done it, I've run multiple e-commerce stores and I love it because it's pretty affordable if you do drop shipping. So this is something that you can do as a way to make money in a pandemic. I like it because it has low startup costs. You can do it part-time or full-time and it's e-commerce so it's online. Now if you're curious how to get started go to Shopify and you can get set up with them. They have a 14 day free trial. I'll leave a link down below in the description box. They have everything that you need. They're a one stop shop from access to themes to make your store look professional and gorgeous. Access to experts where you can talk to people and get the best advice on how to run your store. You can add free and paid um, plugins for marketing, customer service, sales, fulfillment, sourcing, anything that you can think of. Shopify has it. Okay. And then number three. All right, and this will be the last one on the list. This is social media management. This is something that I do on the side. As a social media manager, you're going to be in charge of managing socials for companies and brands. So you're going to be doing things like posting on their feed, in engaging and interacting with their fans, growing their fan base, reviewing their numbers, looking at their analytics and data to see what's working, what's not working, what's popping, what type of content it's doing best, what's the best time to post, um, all that you're going to be doing. That is the role of a social media manager. Social media is all around us. If you use social media, then you can be a social media manager. If you have social media of your own, think about what you do. How you try to post trending things on TikTok or how you film yourself in just the perfect lighting because you know it looks good to the viewer. You would be a great social media manager. And there is a free course. It's called Social Brilliant and you can see here it's a step-by-step -step guide for creating the most effective social media marketing for entrepreneurs. So you can take this free course 
and learn more about social media, social media management. There's also an awesome resource I'd love to share with you. It's called eMarketing Institute. This is a total gem. They have free digital marketing courses, including certificates. Look at all the different courses and certifications that you can get here. You can take as many of these classes as you want, including social media marketing. So you can learn all about this stuff for free and you get a certificate at the end. So this is great to boost your knowledge about social media marketing too. And this is great because you can do it on your own as your own business. You can be a freelancer, charge the rates that you want to. You can start by charging $500 a month or $1,000 a month for your client, bring on one or more clients, and easily scale up to a full-time income. And you can do this on your favorite social networks or all of them. TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, I can type, <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, of course, on and on and on. Okay, and so this is the third way for you to make money in a pandemic. What do you guys think? I hope you found this helpful. I've experienced with all three of these, freelancing, dropshipping, and social media management. If you have any questions for me, don't be a stranger. Comment below. Let me know your questions or email me. You can contact me here. This is my email. Hello at millennialnextdoor.com and say hi. Let me know what questions you have. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.